Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, Mari Malto here. So in today's video is going to be a little bit exciting. I decided that I'm going to dye my hair pastel bubblegum pink. So recently I've been really like obsessed with the color pink as you can tell. I have pink nails, a pink top, and a pink backdrop. I've been really obsessed with it and I've been wanting to dye my hair pastel pink for a cool minute now but I just didn't want to go to my hairstylist because I don't know if I could commit. Thankfully, this dye that I bought from Amazon, and I'll post the link down below, it lasts only, it's semi-permanent, so it lasts only 10, 15 washes, so I'm really excited about that because it's something that I don't have to commit long term, and I hope my hairstylist won't be angry when she sees I put this in my hair because I really love my platinum blonde, so I'm really excited about that. So before I show you the product and how it works, I'm going to do a quick little unboxing of a small business that I've decided to support. So please stay tuned guys, she's really dope and her work is awesome and the unboxing won't take too long. So yeah guys, just stay tuned. Um, the small business that i decided to support is The Craft Mother. Her name is actually Denise and she makes hand painted purses and crafts. When she makes an item, she only makes one out of one, so that tells you a lot. Like, her stuff is custom, and when something drops, it doesn't drop again. What I originally wanted and what caught my attention from this small business, I really love the show Courage the Cowardly Dog, and she made this super cute custom heart-shaped purse that was Courage the Cowardly Dog. And unfortunately, I didn't get the bag, but I did get two other items that I got from her. So I'm really excited. This is the box, and I'm about to unbox it right now. So I don't have a box opener or cutter or whatever, so I'm just gonna use this huge scissor. So we're just gonna go for it. Let's get right into it. See if I can even do this. I'm super excited for these products. Like, I just love her work and I think everything that she makes is super cute. So I actually got two items. I got one purse and this, well you guys will see, I'm not going to spoil the surprise. But, oh my god, it's packaged super cute. Like, I'm just going to drop the scissor on the floor. <laughs> um, look at how it's packaged. Can you guys see that? Like, this is So let's just start with... Okay, so this is the purse, and this is the other item that I got. I am going to start, let's see, I'm going to start with the purse. Let's do the purse. The purse is super cute. This was actually, because like I told you guys, she drops one out of one. So this is the purse that was last left because everybody got the other purses. And like when she dropped her stuff, I was at work so I couldn't get the courage bag or like other items that I wanted. But I still wanted to support her so this is why I got this purse. And the purse is super cute so don't get me wrong. Let's open the purse. Or should I? Okay, no, I'm just gonna open the purse first. Alright, let's see. Oh my god, the purse is super cute. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Look at this purse, this little devil purse, it's so cute, I'm so excited, oh my god, I can't guys, this is the cutest little purse ever, like, I cannot, I cannot, look at the details, look at, look at this, like, super cute, I'm completely in love, like, this is cute, like, I love this, like, I am not disappointed. Oh my god, look at this purse. Uh, well, if you guys didn't know, my favorite color is blue. So when I saw this purse and I saw the little devil on there, like I was just so excited. But I'm gonna. So the purse is actually called Hot Stuff Inspired Purse. And I really, genuinely, really like this purse. Like, I am not disappointed at all. Like, this is super cute. But let's go on. Let's move on to the second item that is equally as cute. If you guys want to get super custom stuff, I would suggest following her. I'm also gonna put. And then the next item that I got, I know I love it, but it is called Helga's Locket, and it's literally a Hey Arnold Helga locket where you can put like your jewelry, your earrings, as anything really. But you just hang it up and it's super cute. I bought this and this is actually really fucking cute. Like I am in love. I am in love. Like I got these super two super cute two items. And yeah. You guys should definitely support the craft of so I support her a hundred percent. 
But last but not least, she also decided to add a super cute tote bag with her logo. And I love tote bags. If you guys know, I freaking love tote bags. So that was really sweet of her to add this. So thank you. Both of these items are super cute. Like, I really love this. Like, I'm going to hang this up in my room and it's going to be there. And I'm just going to hang super cute stuff there. But yeah, follow her. The craft mother. And let's not forget, let's show my purse one more time. Super cute. I cannot. I cannot. But. <laughs> okay guys, so back to dyeing my hair pastel bubblegum pink. So this is the product that I'm using right over here, if you guys can see it. It's a Caracolor color conditioning, oh, conditioner, I was about to say shampoo conditioner so i got this on amazon like i said you can also get it at Ulta. i'll post a link for both i would obviously recommend it getting on amazon if you have amazon prime because it comes like the next day and it costs 22 dollars so yeah so this is what it looks like this is what your hair would look like if you if you use it like your hair is supposed to be lightened obviously mine is very lightened so um, this is what it looks like after one wash, two washes, three washes, all of that good stuff. And I'm going to actually pull back the directions so I can read them to you guys. Let me pull it back. So if you have highlighted and hair lightened to pale blonde, it'll come out to light pink. If you have light blonde hair, it'll add pink hues. If you have medium to dark blonde hair, it's not recommended. Brown hair, not recommended. White gray hair, not recommended. It's paraben free. So the direction said to saturate your hair with water and apply a generous amount of the conditioner. If applying to entire hair, comb out from the roots to the end, distribute evenly. If applying in specific areas, work within fingers, leave on for 3 to 20 minutes and rinse thoroughly. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to leave it on for 30 minutes. And it says for... The conditioner can also be applied to dry hair for a more vibrant look. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm trying to go for a pastel bubblegum pink, but if it comes out more vibrant than I expected it, I'm okay with that because it is a semi-permanent dye, which means it'll wash off eventually. So I'm okay with that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it on my dry hair, leave it on for 30 minutes and see what happens. Hopefully it comes out cool and pastel bubblegum pink like I want it, but if it comes out kind of hot pink, I'm okay with that. I just want it pink, period. You feel me? So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, guys, so we are now in my restroom. Welcome to my restroom. You can, like, see me recording in my tripod. That's pretty cool, but let's get to it. This is obviously the shampoo that I'm going to use, conditioner that I'm going to use. You guys will see it closer. You guys can actually see it here. You guys couldn't see it earlier because of the ring light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair. And I'm actually going to put on a shirt that I don't care about so I don't stain this cute pink top. But yeah, let's get started, guys. Okay, guys. So I decided to do a time lapse because I figured it'd be a little bit quicker and less boring instead of just filming myself but i parted my hair and i tried to apply the paint everywhere all over my hair but i only ended up doing it on the top layer not the bottom so this is why i had to redo it twice and had my mom do it again and let it sit for 30 minutes so definitely i would recommend have someone help you when you do this don't do this on your own guys so it is 11 11 right now I'm sorry that I took so long and I'm filming this outro so late, but this is what the final results looks like. I'm genuinely really in love, like I really love the color. It came out more of a hot pink if that makes sense instead of a pastel bubblegum pink, but I genuinely really like it and I just wanted to let you guys know that this isn't after one wash, but it's after two washes. So what happened is that I did it one wash myself, as you guys saw earlier in the video, and I didn't distribute the paint all over my hair. So it only got the color like on top and there was like a bunch of patches. So I had my mom use what was left over of like the conditioner paint and um, she did it like literally all over again. So the first time I left it in 40 minutes and the next second time I left it in for about 
30 minutes but yeah this is what it looks like and I genuinely really like it it's super cute it gives me princess bubblegum vibes so I'm like really happy about it and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like would I recommend this product absolutely it's only $22 it's easy to get on Amazon or at Ulta in person so I recommend it 10 out of 10 will I be keeping this, this highlight hot pink definitely I feel like I'm gonna keep buying the product and just keep Redying it over and over again till I achieve this color and maintain this color I was actually thinking about permanently dyeing my hair this color. So if you guys know any good pink Hair color brands leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. But yeah guys. Thank you so much for watching guys I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my little hair transformation and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye